Okay, um, let's look at another way in which you can visualize your information or display things to the designer uh, just to help them out. Again, we're still not going into custom inspector. We're just getting a little bit more comfortable with editor scripting uh, and other things that we can do. Maybe in this case, I want to experiment with helper boxes and displaying to the designer. If they have some weird configuration that's just not gonna work, uh, we can give them a little hint or give them a warning or give them a pop-up to let them know, hey, you probably want to change this thing. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's not going to go as intended, right? Okay, this time I'm going to add my helper box at the very end, right? So down here, just to show you that we can put things before the inspector, we can put it after. Uh, in this case, we're going to make a helper box. And in order to determine if we want to even have the helper box pop up, we need to figure out the condition for which, uh, you know, we want to give them the warning. Let's say if they either give an empty name or no name at all, then maybe we want to give them a warning. So like, hey, you didn't really give this a name. If you want this to work, you probably need to give it a name. Or weird things may happen, like maybe the labels won't pop up in game or just something weird. So we're going to make a condition. We're going to say if data dot, uh, remember it's capital, right? Capital name is equal to string dot empty. All right, so if there's nothing in our, our name string, there's, there's nothing here, then we want to give them a warning. Now in editor scripting, this is called a helper box. Unity gives us a little pre-made thing that we can use. So we'll say editor it's GUI. Uh, honestly, it is really hard to remember where this stuff exists. Like, is it editor GUI layout or is it editor GUI or some other place? Um, again, always just check the layout ones first. They're a little bit easier to use typically. It's called a help box. I keep saying helper box. Okay, so what is the warning that we want to give them? We'll say caution, uh, no name specified. Please name the monster. We're going to do that. We got to give it a type. What is this? A message type dot error or warning? Like maybe technically it'll still work. It'll just be really funky. Uh, let's let's make it a warning. Break that up a little bit. Okay. So if there is no name in the in the field, like we we didn't give the monster a name, then have this helper box pop up. Okay. So we're not seeing the helper box, and that's expected, right? Because these these have names. Uh, but if we were to delete this, you see. This monster has no name. Caution, no name specified. Please name the monster. Skeleton. And it goes away. As soon as we enter any characters inside of here, it, it goes away. Um, so this is just one more cool little helpful thing you can do. You can you can add other things here too, right? Like uh, if uh, data dot monster type is equal to monster type dot none, right? If we didn't select one, uh, give me like that uh, help box. Uh, no monster. We'll be proper here. Type selected. Okay, and then again, message type warning. This is message type dot warning. Um, you know, this could be intended, maybe not. Like if if you want there to be monsters that don't have a type, then cool. Uh, but if this is a mistake, like you want them to select the type, you could enforce it, or you could just say, you know, if if they have a certain thing selected and, you know, there's some other condition to it, then you can actually give them a little warning. So just kind of a neat little thing. You can add little cautions if they're uh, filling things out in an unintended way. Ideally, you'd prevent them from doing that anyways, but I just wanted to show you that uh, you could add little checks and helper things to uh, guide the designer on how to use your tool if they're doing something weird, right? Like if they they put like negative health, right? Like the monster, if it has negative health, uh, maybe we'll change this monster type one to um, if data dot health is less than zero, then should not have negative else like what would that even mean right we don't when does the monster die we don't know so if they were to put negative 10 right should not have negative health right and the, the inversely affects our difficulty but uh, again just options for you help help boxes are really cool uh, really handy and again we're not redrawing our inspector yet we are just adding little additional checks so all this is the same but we're adding things around it and little pop-ups and, th and things but you can already hopefully see how this can be very handy and very useful as we're organizing our stuff. So 
um, you know, customizing our editor scripts and um, adding extra visualizations, little um, extras to make it a little bit easier for the designer to do their job.